Hi Sash, welcome to your life after the retrograde forecast. And please take note that this is only a general reading. It doesn't really apply to all the Sagittarius out there. Okay, please track your moon rising as well. Now, I don't know what happened to the audio of the first video that I have uploaded. So, I guess when I turn off, when I turn off the second mic, because I'm using two. When I turn off the second mic, it uh, creates a default choice to the first one. And it's actually far from here. That's why you feel like there is a... So, uh, sorry, that's why you hear that there is... You know, there's too much sound or airy sound and uh, the voice is too little. So, okay, let's take a look. Now, I will be using four different spreads with four different decks. One is, how do you see each other? The herd spread. Where do you go from here and the bottom line? Let's go first to the one. You know what, Sag? Your 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 relationship actually goes well. It's just that I feel like there is some sort of a mother figure influence, or there is some sort of a influence of an air sign as already a mother figure, or this could be your actual mother. And your partner feels like you're betraying them, or you're planning against them, or right behind them, and they are ready to defend themselves. You, on the other hand, are also ready to fight. So it's like the two of you are creating your own war without even understanding that you are only being set up by this air sign woman. Let's take a look. We'll be pulling out more cards for more clarification, okay? Both betrayal came out. This too. Alright. Sanj, it's like you are wasting this opportunity because you already found the right one for you. And your relationship was doing okay until that you are letting other influences eat up your harmony in your domestic life. Okay? Now, this air sign woman is kind of meddling into your relationship and meddling into your life just because that they are so miserable in their own life and you are letting them infest you in their own way in their own wicked way and you are ready to defend yourself you're ready to make a stand for the wrong belief that you are kind of under the influence while your partner is working too hard, they are more financially stable. They are very hardworking, diligent, and uh, ethical as well. And they felt betrayed. Don't assume that just because they are not saying anything or just, you know, just because they are very well reserved and they're not really, you know, wailing out like you do sometimes doesn't mean that they don't know whatever it is that you're doing because they don't they know okay they know they have their own ways they have their own you know uh strategy to know things and you your main problem is work your main problem is money and your um your partner doesn't know what to do anymore so it's like they've already you've already reached the um you know the uh, the borderline and this relationship is already taking a toll on them. So, there is also somebody around you who's a water sign. That you are kind of having something on the side. And then your partner keeps on offering you the things that you want and that you need. Yet you keep on taking advantage of it. There is, see, the love triangle already came out. And it seems like... You don't know who to choose. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to, you know, you don't know what to, yeah, it's like you don't know how to make a choice. The love that you used to have for your partner now becomes more of a need. 
It looks like you're very miserable. Your real relationship is very stormy because of you. Because you cannot make a choice. And you are in love with someone else while you are still with someone. Now, you don't know how to get out of this relationship because you don't have a job or you don't have money or you don't have enough you know, resources or funds of your own. And you are thinking of more ways on how to squeeze more money or how to get more resources from other factors or from other ways, you know. And it's like you're already caught up in this oblivion. Your partner, however, knows what you're planning. So it's like right before you can charge right before you can attack they're already they've already built up their own army and they've already built up their own walls okay so they as i've said they're ready to defend themselves and i feel like you're at the end of the day you're still going to be choosing the earth sign because there's more stability here and your partner still have feelings for you that even though if they even though they wanted to walk away and they want to leave you I feel like they are still going to be, you know, listening to their emotions and to their love for you. And both of you, okay, could feel the same thing both at the same time. You're trying to make a decision. Your partner is very anxious and cannot even sleep at night because they can feel whatever it is that you're planning. And you're planning to cut off one of them. Your partner is waiting. You'll, you will choose the one that you love, which is, I feel like, the, uh, the water sign. And there will be some discussions or there will be some talks that's going to be done. And you feel so stagnant. You feel so stuck. And your partner feels like, you know, they know the answer already or they know whatever that's been going on. Because your partner is very intuitive and, uh, you know, sharply, sorry, their, their, their instinct is very sharp as well. And your partner is the one who will be making the decision for you while you will incur more disappointments because of this too much playing in mind games. Now, how do you hurt each other? You are waiting for your time to come while your partner is celebrating more of their success. Okay, you feel like they have left you, that you feel like they have, you know, like um, voided you out of their you know, so-called career life. And you want to have a lump sum of money of your own. You want to have a break of your own. You want to have an opportunity of your own. Because you also want to have the, you know, the same kind of limelight that they are kind of, you know, celebrating. But you know what? Each and every people who is already successful or who is already, you know, climbing or reaching the top, they have worked so hard while they were down. They've went, they went through, you know, the holes of a needle, you know, they tried to find a needle in a haystack and they've gone through storms, you know, and uh, it has changed them and made them strong. No success is so easy that you can just, you know, simply reach by your hand in something like that. You have to work hard for it. And they have pounded years to reach to the top and to reach to, or, you know, to get wherever they are right now. And this is the reason why you're thinking about working. This is the reason why you're thinking about having money of your own. But you are, you know, it's like there's still more years to come for you. And your partner will somehow talk to you and, uh, you know, will be making the decision that, is this really what you want? Fine, I'm going to let you go, you know. No dramas, no toxicity. Let's just cut the, um, you know, the uh the drama and let's just move on with our lives you want to be with someone else be with someone else and let me be as simple as that but it's like you don't want to lose any one of them because you want to have the best of both worlds you've already lost th three things in the past and uh, i feel like this is your last chance with your partner and for your partner you know it came out with a death card so there will be an ending Okay, they're the one, as I've said, they're the one who's going to be making the decision. And the bottom line here is, you know, the uh, the betrayal already came out. And you feel like, you know, you're going to be rejoicing that finally you're already free. Finally you're there, you know. And you are thinking of traveling and moving away. Feeling that it's going to be, you know, like... Um, Things will be turning for you. Yet. I feel like you will also be defying your own family. 
I hope that you're just making the right decision because there are some things that you're going to be forsaking because of money or because of an opportunity. Now let's take a look where do you uh, where do you go from here in the bottom line. Okay, this is uh, what's causing your problem. Oh, sorry, this is your current situation. This is what's causing your problem, which you've forgotten to express, which you've forgotten to exp uh, to respect, your option, and the outcome, and the bottom line. You want to have your own success. You're competing against your partner. You want to have a money of your own. You want to have stability of your own. You want to have your own luxury. But you're actually doing things the wrong way. Because first off, you know, you know the karma when you cheated on somebody. This is the two of you currently. Your partner will also be giving you an ultimatum. I also feel like if you're going to be parting this this year, it's going to be for good. Uh, Venus retrograde around October. Okay, when Venus actually strikes, and that's going to be the um, mostly the permanent ending of a relationship, and like Mars and Mercury. Now here, huh, you want to have. A success of your own you want to have a name of your own you want to be recognized for something but you know what you're actually letting your foundation wither because of a very simple selfish ambition and uh, the thing that you have forgotten to express you want to have you know your own financial stability because right now you already have your own plans because you're the one who's having somebody on the side especially if you're having an affair with a water sign and now please take note that this doesn't really apply to all Sagittarians out there if you're not a cheater if you don't if you're not having an affair with the water sign if there is no other water sign in your life then this is not really for you and now here your option your option is that you're really broken hearted because you don't know where, where to turn to and you have discarded your partner's feelings you don't have any respect for your partner because you're the one who's been having some issues with yourself and this is the reason why you've been acting so all high and mighty and very um, arrogant you are also declining or rejecting the um, this um you know the truth the practical truth in your situation and you feel like nope i'm gonna get that cup you know like i'm gonna get there i'm gonna go there i'm gonna reach the top and eventually the foundation that you've had it's gonna be like ending soon okay with the earth sign that's gonna be you know that they're gonna find out whatever it is that you're doing right behind them they're fully aware and they're also ready for you to attack they're also ready for you to go and to leave and they have been waiting for this day to come